The Alpha Sessions with Emma Joyce. Serena Dalton, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Um, in the normal circumstances, we'd have you down to the studio and we'd have a hug and we'd have a chat. But obviously, like, we can't do that here. Um, so this is, I guess, like the next best thing. Um, <laughs> for people that haven't heard your music before, like, how would you sum it up in three words? Three words. Um, country folk pop. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice. Um, and you've released a single earlier on in the year. Um, yeah. What's it called? And can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, it's called Sweetheart. Um, it's like a kind of melancholy country vibe with lovely violins and cellos and stuff going on. Um, I wrote it off the back of watching pretty sure it's a Hallmark movie or whatever <laughs> equivalent it was cool. on Netflix. Um, I'm a big fan of country music and uh, it was about a, like a country singer, I think, but he basically left his girl at the altar and never came back. And then oh, like no. in the film, he comes back. Yeah, it's quite sad. That's I just so started sad. writing this song off the back of it um, or like in the middle of it. Um, and one of the taglines is, won't you come, come back to me. And it kind of evolved because um, I watch a lot of like war films as well and um, really have an interest in the Second World War kind of era and what what was happening like with the women back home and how was England happening still. Um, and just this kind of love story came out of it of a woman's husband who's gone to war and never comes back in the song. Um, and she's just singing like, won't you come, come back to me. And it's her sitting hopefully at home. And then by the end of the song, she realizes that he's not going to come home. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm not really happy to be fair, but <laughs> I love a story. I think, um, and I've had this discussion with so many musicians before, like a lot of people find it easier to write sad songs than they do happy songs. Would you say the same? Um, I think, yeah, it depends like a... I get asked to sing for weddings a bunch and finding right. happy love songs is so <laughs> difficult to find. Like you want yeah. something beautiful and happy. Most of the beautiful ones are like the really sad, yeah. oh, just broken up songs. So yeah, it's, it's harder to write something upbeat and meaningful, probably like meaningfully happy rather than just, I don't know, like sunshine and stars. But um, yeah, I probably agree with that. It's easier to write. <laughs> <laughs> um, you also released Still last year. Yeah. Um, um, which is a great track, by the way. <laughs> um, what's that about? Um, that Be Still is like, well, I had a friend at the time who was going through um, anxiety and panic attacks and that kind of thing. Um, and I'm a Christian and I just asked, I was like praying and I asked God, what would he say to people who suffer from anxiety? What would he say to my friend? And this song just came out about just being still and knowing that God was actually with him. And um, yeah, like all the words in it are really just like comfort and love that God's gonna see him through and he's gonna get to the end of it. So that was kind of what it was about. And what about lockdown? Um, did you release your latest track whilst you're in lockdown? Uh, well, I actually released it last year, um, but I released a live version during lockdown ah, okay cool. um, yeah i did a video but i never released it on spotify yeah. and itunes and stuff so i thought it was a perfect time just to release some comfort yeah um in terms of like promoting it have you had to do different stuff because we're in lockdown um I, i'm probably not the greatest at promoting so i've probably done less in lockdown because the i mean everyone's just doing it on the internet in lockdown i feel like so yeah i just did the usual kind of rounds of Facebook and Instagram <laughs> um, but it did come out last year so I wasn't so worried to like really push it but just to give people a fresh perspective of the song. Um, have you found it easy to be on like social media around now? Around um, now? Um, yeah I think I've had a bit of a break during lockdown <laughs> kind of feels like i thinking about other things and at the beginning it was like a big pressure to you know, you could write an album during lockdown, you could write all these things. Yeah. And at the beginning, I, I really wanted to, and I have written songs, um, but I've decided to take the pressure off and not write the next hit the whole world during lockdown. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's so yeah. much pressure to like come out and be a different person at the other end. And sometimes yeah. I think it's almost too much. 
yeah 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 i'm supposed to have learned a language you know read every book and yeah. the best album ever so <laughs> good luck with that yeah. <laughs> The Alpha Sessions with Emma Joyce. What about inspirations? Um, who would you say were your inspirations? Um, I love the Civil Wars. They're like country duo, super melancholy, but the most gorgeous harmonies and I'm a sucker for anything with a harmony in. So <laughs> they're probably really high up there. Um, Gabrielle Aplin, I started getting into, I haven't listened to her She's in amazing. a while actually, but I love her. Just that like soft, mellow feel, but she's got like driving anthems in there as well. Yeah. Um, Adele, I just love soul and her voice is just gorgeous. And Johnny Swim, I don't know, they're a, um, a US duo as well, like full of harmonies, folky couple, they're amazing. Yeah. Cool. Um, and in terms of like writing music, is there anything in particular that you think inspires you in such a way? So like, um, it, is it more like stories or are they based on more real life experiences? Um, I'd say a good mix. Like I, um, I love writing things that have meaning, as most people do. But I love writing people's stories, even if they were made up like Sweetheart is a million people's story, even if it's not a specific one that I picked. Um, and I think life experience and just like the journey and the processes that I've been on over the years, um, they come out in my stories and my songs. I actually love like getting inspiration from films. I think obviously Sweetheart was, but in a film you go on a journey with 
the characters and then you actually if it's a good film you get invested in them and you like laugh and cry with them and that's kind of what you want out of a song anyway you want to have that experience and maybe my life isn't as interesting all the time to, to write about so at least I can like, grab those songs stories I wish I could just watch film and then write a song <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound like so kind of easy almost <laughs> No, it's not. I think it's when, it's if I start crying during the film, I'm like, ah, okay, yeah. maybe I'll write something. <laughs> um, what about lockdown? How have you been spending your time? Um, been in the garden loads, learnt some flower names from my mum. Um, <laughs> I've redecorated my childhood bedroom, which was 28 years overdue. And oh. uh, I'm back with my parents for lockdown. Yeah, um, been writing some songs, read some books. Um, sorted out a million and one photographs and I'm gonna start putting them somewhere at some point. <laughs> yeah, all the things you don't get around to. Lots yeah. Of Have you been um, listening to any tunes? Anything like different to normal? Um, I'm listening to uh, a new friend of mine actually called Fez and he oh, cool. has written a bunch of um, instrumental like Oh, I'm out of touch. I don't know what you call it. Electro, like R and B soul, maybe. That's um, really cool. But yeah, shout out to Fez because his stuff. Fez is with an A. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Um, and I was on your Instagram as you do, um, and I wanted to ask you about you went on a songwriters retreat. Yes, I did. Um, and I just wanted to ask, like, what's it like? How does that work? Oh, it was heaven on earth. Um, so <laughs> I went on the first one and I helped run the second one um, cool. and well one when you do a sunrise tree you need to pick the most beautiful place in the world and I got to be in California which is amazing mm -hmm. yeah. up a mountain overlooking lakes and mountains so like were you by yourself no it was there was about 30 people participating and then people were running it um and we all go up for like three days, three nights, um, and like build community together and just have fun, eat really good food together. And then we'd have various teachers um, throughout, like maybe two a day-ish, um, speaking on different things on the songwriting process or the practicals of it. And then we would get put into random groups and we had a whole day, one day to write and finish and perform a song together wow. um, and most of the time like you haven't met any of the other people um, and then we did another like an activation where they give you one line of a song one one lyric and you have half an hour to um, build as much of a song as you can off it off of like three chords based on I don't know random stuff they throw at you but it's really fun it's amazing what you can do under pressure when you just have to get it out because finishing songs is I think the thing that everyone struggles with that sounds insane kind of quite scary but also quite fun at the same time yeah i think that's definitely a lot of room for people to like break through insecurity and like just yeah like yeah the insecurity that keeps you frozen when you have to work with other people and you think if i say an idea is it going to be any good or that person seems really confident but actually i've got something to say or a ring or yeah, or being put, you know, to do lyrics when really I'd prefer to do melody or something like that. Just you, you get pulled and grown in different ways. It's really good.
Alpha Sessions with Emma Joyce. In terms of all the different parts of the musical process, like with putting out a song or songwriting or playing live, um, what do you think you miss most being in lockdown? Oh, performing. And yeah, <laughs> it's just really fun. I miss that. I miss like just singing, even on a PA system, which is hilarious. Be like something that feels bigger than just singing to my piano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you done any live streams? No, I, oh, well, I've, I've done like one Insta Live, which is now posted, um, okay. but yeah, I haven't got quite there yet. <laughs> That's cool. Um, when you first write a song, who's the first person that you play it to? Um, I don't know, it kind of depends who I'm around. Probably a musical, like another songwriter friend would okay. be, yeah, yeah. I like sharing them with my family, but most of the time it's like, <laughs> oh, that's nice, dear. And you're like, well, I don't know if it's good or not, so. <laughs> that's really funny. Um, and so what are you working on at the moment? What's next? Um, I'm toying out the idea of either releasing a couple more singles or awesome. if they do mix together, then it'll be like a short EP. Oh, that's um, so exciting. But yeah. Uh, I need to like fundraise or figure out where, how we can do that, but they're in the works. Okay. Um, big question. If you were told tomorrow that you could play a gig anywhere in the world, mm. um, which venue would it be in? I think, oh, can I do two? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, one's not really a venue, it's like a pop-up venue, but okay. where um, there's this incredible place in the Alps in Switzerland oh, where wow. sometimes they do like open air gigs right on the top of the mountain. <gasps> That's in the incredible. Yeah, yeah. I would love to do it there. And yeah. the other one would be Red Rocks in Colorado. And nice. The dugout amphitheater. <laughs> um, and if you could take anyone with you on the gig to collaborate with, they can be dead or alive at this venue, who would it be? Oh man. Probably the Civil Wars because it would be just so beautiful. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So you guys could form like a little super group. Yes, definitely. Amazing. <laughs> um, and how can people find out more about you? Um, easy. You can go to Instagram and it's Serena Dalton and Facebook is Serena Dalton Music and there's iTunes, Spotify, all under my name, um, all the usual places. 
Amazing. Well, thank you so much for spending the time with us. Um, and I'm hoping that when things go back to normal a little bit, um, we can get you down to the studio properly um, yeah. and do like a an intimate session as we do on us. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you um, so much for having me. on your way